Hi, Ken. Hello. Welcome. Hello. How are you, Dr. Tian? I'm doing good. Thank you. Thank you so much for being part of this program, Ken. Um, let's start our conversation. Archie is used in your hotel. We're going to start, uh, we're going to talk about it. But can you please tell us, uh, please, what TriStar Hotel Group does? Well, uh, TriStar Hotel Group is a uh, hotel company. We own uh, 11 hotels and we manage 22 other hotels uh, as a third party manager. Um, we do end to end management, um, every facet. Uh, we also have a company called HM Bookstore, which is an e learning company, and we're creating a new product, which is a software company called Rover. That's wonderful. I want to let our viewers know that Ken uh, is. Uh, is also part of our master's program. He's one of our master's students. Plus, he's also one of the participants of this certificate program. So we are really proud of Ken, uh, of course, for being our student, but also being a wonderful uh, industry professional. Uh, Ken, I know that in some of your hotels, you are using Archie. As a matter of fact, when you were taking the technology class with me, you have presented this idea, uh, Archie, used in your hotels. Can you please tell me how many hotels you're using Archie? Yes, yeah, so we have Archie in three hotels um, and they're in different areas of the country. One is in Arizona, one is in Indiana, and the third one's in California. Wow, that's amazing. This is really good. And I wanna ask you, let's start with this question. Everybody heard about robots, you know, Hotel Henna in Japan, uh, robot um, checking, uh, clerks and, and all that stuff. So, but we didn't see a lot of hotels actually using it like you are doing. How did this idea come to you? Let me just start with this one. Well, as you know, from being a student in your class, um, I just love technology uh, and, and owning an e-learning company and developing it in 2012 before it was even popular. Uh, and, and with, with COVID-19, uh, e-learning has become one of the most prominent types of forms of learning uh, currently. So we've always had an interest in technology. And uh, so I uh, read about a company called Savioki. Uh, they were a startup company. They were out of San Francisco, San Jose. I called, spoke to the CEO and said, hey, I would like one of your robots as a beta test. And I was the eighth hotel in the history of the world to have a delivery robot. And that was at our California Hilton product, uh, property. Wonderful. Great. So let's get into the details of it. First, I want to start from the guests. What did the guests um, do? How did they react to Archie? Can you tell us some of your findings? Well, you know, Archie at the California property has been there since 2016, so four years. Uh, 2016, 17, and maybe even 18. Um, they thought they were in a movie called The Jetsons. I mean, they've never seen a robot. They've seen it on TV, in, in movies or cartoons. Uh, so for them, it was it was quite a thrill. Um, and uh, you can use a robot for other things in delivery. Uh, we use the robot for coffee breaks, um, for birthday parties for kids. And uh, we even had one um, uh, person who was going to uh, get engaged, had the robot pull up with the engagement ring and ask his girlfriend to get married. So you can use it for other areas other than just delivery to the room, as you saw in the video. And is it the same in other properties as well? Uh, guests like it? They love it. Uh, I, I mean, um, our, our star rating, uh, you can rate the robot from one to five. In our California hotel, it's 4.95, which means, wow. and, and, and we, we, I think we do about 3,000 deliveries a year there. So. Uh, you can multiply that times four or five and understand uh, how much they really like it. So you have 12 to 15,000 deliveries over the course of four or five years. If you were to compare your guest ratings for your hotels before you start using Archie and after, were there any changes, decrease or increase in your guest satisfaction rates for your hotel? Well, we were able to measure it in two ways. We were able to measure the revenue production through the STAR report. So we recognize that we created a, a differentiation between us and our competition. And we notice an increase in our rep par 
uh, at uh, all three hotels. So that was really interesting from a revenue point of view. Obviously, social media is very easy to track. And many times we would end up on uh, a social media site like TripAdvisor. And um, it was just, it's, it's a five star every time. That's amazing. We will talk about the finances in a second, but I want to ask you first about the employees' perspective. Do you think that your employees are scared of Archie, thinking that it's going to steal our jobs? I will be not employed here because of Archie. What? How is their reaction to Archie? Well, you know, robotics, in my opinion, is 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 just a helper to to, to the human side of whatever your business might be. And in this case, it's hotels. So um, a lot of deliveries occur uh, at late night, let's say from 11 o'clock until 5 a.m. And you might only have one or two people working at the hotel at that period of time. And imagine being able to use a robot to send up towels or something extra to a room at three o'clock in the morning. So they all found it to be quite an advantage. Uh, they thought it was really cool, just like the, the customers. I mean, I think they had the same opinion that a customer had. Wonderful. So, Ken, is this quite expensive? What's the financial model for this? I mean, you even invested in this in 2016, as you said earlier, in California property. But is this something that every hotel can do financially or should do? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a comparison. So for a hotel, if you um, in my case, I it cost me $1,900 because I have a grandfathered contract. So I think now it's around $2,400 a month. You're leasing the use of the robot. You never have to fix it. Um, it, it works all the time, 24 seven. So the, the cost is 1,900 to $2,400. If you were to an employee, one employee just for eight hours a day at $16, you're paying almost $4,000 a month or about $3,800 a month plus uh, taxes and, and uh, benefits. Um, so you can do the math, $1,900 versus $4,000. Okay, and finally, I would like to ask you, Ken, that uh, what is your advice to other hoteliers uh, who may be thinking about employing a robot? Do you think that there is um, there, this is good? I mean, you mentioned that you have multiple hotels managing and owning, but only three of them has it. So is this something that this kind of a um, equipment robot suitable for uh, some type of hotels? Or is it something that, in your opinion, we are going to see in every hotel in the future? Well, I'm, I certainly believe that everybody's going to be using it because you're going to be able to have other um, ways of using Archie as an example. I spoke to the uh, chief operating officer last week with Savioki, and they're creating a backpack and an arm that will attach that will allow uh, the robot to sanitize your hotel, literally go into the guest room. If you leave the guest room door open, it knows what guest rooms you're programming. You can program 20 guest rooms and it'll go into, into the guest room, use a disinfectant to spray the guest room, and then move back out. Uh, and at nighttime, let's say from 11 till five, it can spray and disinfect your restaurant, your lobby, your corridors. So I believe that the, the robotic uh, industry um, is here to stay. Wonderful, thank you so much, Ken. Uh, what a great conversation. I appreciate your support as always. Thank you. Thank you.